Hey Credit Warriors, Credit Shifu here and there is a new credit card in town, the United Gateway card. Get it? Gateway card? Kind of like gateway drug? <laughs> anyway, it's the gateway into the Chase slash United system of cards. The first rung of the ladder, I guess that's why they're calling it gateway card. It is a Visa signature uh, issued by Chase, like I just said, and there is one particular temporary benefit that's going to be going on for the whole of the next year that I think some people are going to find really useful. So we'll talk about that a little bit later on in the video. But first of all, I want to give you an idea of a bit of the range that this card fits into. So it does have no annual fee and it also earns rewards. So that puts it in tier two of my five tiered credit card rating system. The rewards it earns are obviously United Miles. Um, so generally tier two cards, they'll often earn cash back or sometimes airline miles or hotel points, but very rarely transferable points, okay? So this fits in quite nicely uh, with our five tier system. And the rewards, like we said, do come in the form of United Miles, not travel bank cash, okay, United travel bank cash. What this was, um, the United travel bank card, uh, which is now discontinued, earned United travel bank cash, and this was like cash back, but you could only spend it with United. No, this earns United miles. Now there is a welcome bonus of 20,000 United miles for spending $1,000 in the first three months. Now I use the points guy's valuations for points and miles, just because he does it every month. He's got way more data than me and he puts it out there for all the different currencies. So there's kind of no point making my own. So he values them at 1.3 uh, cents per mile, uh, which puts that welcome bonus of 20,000 miles at $260 in value. And there are also the following bonus earning categories. Two points per dollar on United purchases, two points per dollar at gas stations, two points per dollar on local transit and commuting, and one point per dollar on everything else. So you can see they're really taking the transportation angle with this card. You're gonna earn a bonus category on your United flight, then also on your Uber or subway to the airport, then on gas on your rental car, wherever you're going, etc., etc. So it's a very much transportation focused. Now, since this card has no annual fee, you don't get any of the fancy things such as uh, you know, lounge access, free check bags, etc. Um, you do, however, get 25% off in-flight purchases with United, and you also get trip cancellation and interruption insurance. And then there's one other thing you get as well, which is expanded award availability with United. So no blackout dates when you're booking with points with United, uh, just by having this card. So uh, even if you don't use it, but you're earning United miles some other way, maybe through Chase and then transferring your points, uh, just by having this card, you get that expanded award availability. Now I did say that there was one temporary benefit that would be very useful to a lot of people. And I'm gonna talk about that now. So right now the card currently earns three points per dollar, okay, three United miles per dollar on grocery spending up to $1,500 per month until September 30th, 2021. So for the whole of the next year, you're earning three miles per dollar at grocery stores. Now this would be great for me. I spend about $1,000 a month on grocery stores. People pull me up on it, criticize me for it in the comments all the time. But yeah, that's it, about $1,000 uh, you know, a month. So I'd earn about 3,000 United points a month uh, spending at grocery stores with this card. Now some quarters of the year, you may get a better result by using the Chase Freedom if they have a grocery category in their five points per dollar uh, revolving categories. This quarter, it's actually Walmart. So if you do your shopping at Walmart, um, you could earn 5X on up to $1,500 of spending in the quarter. However, in order to transfer that to United, you need to have a Sapphire card, which does have an annual fee. And also it's only $1,500 uh, per quarter, not $1,500 per month. So, you know, there are kind of pros and cons. And considering this card is no annual fee and it's $1,500 per month, it's actually a pretty good deal. So if you maxed it out, $1,500 per month in spending at grocery stores at 3X, uh, you'd actually earn 54,000 United miles per year, okay, over a 12 months period. And then, you know, for the first year, you add the sign up bonus of 20,000 United miles to that, you actually get 74,000 United points in the first year. That's pretty good, pretty good value. And uh, that would be enough for a transcontinental or even transatlantic business class flight. Okay, this is the uh, current award availability on United, 60,000 points for a business class flight from New York, Newark to London. Pretty cool. 
So how do you get this card? Well, since it is a chase card, it is unfortunately affected by the 524 rule. So if you have opened five new credit cards in the past 24 months, uh, you will not be eligible for this card or any other chase card. And the card itself actually has uh, another rule. I'll read that out to you. This product is not available to either current card members of this credit card or previous card members of this credit card who received a new card member bonus for this credit card within the last 24 months. So if you've already opened this credit card, you can't open another one. You can't have two at a time, which probably isn't that many people who'd want to do that anyway. Uh, and if you've received the welcome bonus on this card in the past 24 months, you cannot open this card either. But that's probably no one since it's a brand new product that's just launched. So basically, uh, this rule isn't really going to affect people until uh, a while in the future. Then there are also a number of older Chase United cards that are going to be product changed over to this new United Gateway card. So if you had the uh, United uh, Travel Bank card or also the United Mileage Plus card. Both these are being discontinued and those card members are being transferred over. Actually, you should have been transferred over already, at least in your you know online system, and you should receive the physical card. Um, you know, typically your old card will still work and it'll earn points like the new card, you know, in the same structure as the new gateway card, but you should receive a new actual physical card that says gateway card on it um, within the next month. So before the end of October, you should receiving, uh, be receiving the new card. And then to travel bank customers, your travel bank cash, uh, it won't convert over into United Miles, uh, but you'll still be able to spend it um, in the same way until I guess you've uh, finished spending all of the travel bank cash that you have. As for the grocery bonus for the first year, uh, this seems to be part of the welcome offer. So I believe this probably won't be available to people who have product changed over to the card. Okay, you can see on the website, it's listed together with the welcome offer as part of it. So I'm guessing it's for brand new accounts only, not people who've product changed. If you have found out any different to that, please leave a comment below and let me know. All right, guys, it looks like a very strong offering, especially for the first year uh, with that, you know, 74,000 points that you could potentially earn. And, you know, if you don't like it after one year, you don't even really need to think about canceling it because there's no annual fee. So you could just put it in a drawer and just leave it and it's not really harming you at all. In fact, you're getting expanded award availability on United uh, and 25% off in-flight purchases just by having it and paying nothing. So, you know, it's kind of a no-brainer, kind of, you know, if you want United points, pretty good card to get. Location though will play a big role in whether you want United points or not and whether this card is uh, ultimately useful to you because, you know, obviously if you live near a United hub, uh, that's going to hugely expand the options of, you know, United flights where you can take flights to. I live near a United hub. My closest major airport is Newark, which serves New York City. And yeah, it's a United hub. I'll just read off all of the United hubs for you guys. So the United hubs are Chicago O'Hare, Denver, Guam, Houston, Intercontinental, Los Angeles, LAX, Newark, San Francisco, and Washington Dullies. So if you live near any of those United hubs, it's definitely a card worth considering. May even be worth it for some other people, I'm not quite sure. And um, guys, if you want to know more about this card, the link is below. You can feel free to click in and check it out. As always, our links are affiliate links. They do help out our show if you use them. So we thank you very much if you used our link. And uh, we have the advertiser disclosure right at the bottom of the description section if you want to read it. As always, guys, please subscribe if you're new. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.